When you hear the phrase women's work, you might think of things like childcare, domestic tasks, sewing. You've no idea how much I've got to do. But women have performed all kinds of work outside the home, inside the home, for pay, for no pay. With this exhibit, we are hoping to really raise the question, what does it mean to say women's work? The women's work exhibit to me is a journey through women's struggle. It's a journey through patriarchy and all the ways that it meanders along with race. It meanders along with, of course, labor. It meanders through past, present, and future for all of us. Women's work was a long time coming. Usually when you do a show, it's with some kind of chronology or there's some kind of theme that you're going to explore. And we took a really big theme. We have everything from a laundry ringer and a cradle to a tavern license and a medical kit used by an early woman doctor. This is not a chronological look at women's work throughout New York's history. This is really much more dynamic than that. But we're asking our visitors as they move through the space to sort of draw their own conclusions and make these connections. What does a rag doll have to do with a shirtwaist? What does it have to do with a pair of businesswomen's shoes? What does a lady's work table have to do with a school child's desk from a New York City public school? I really want people to see that nothing is not connected. It doesn't matter, a hundred years ago, you're talking about Sojourner Truth, and then all of a sudden you see Marsha P. Johnson, and you see that another woman fighting for her voice to be heard is also connected to another woman fighting for her bodily autonomy. One of my favorite objects in the exhibit is a pinback button from the National Welfare Rights Organization. And this is an organization that was started in the 1960s, mostly formed of black single women who were on welfare and who were advocating for the right to stay home with their children. Social policy at the time was trying to push them out of the house and say you could only get benefits if you take care of other people's children. And so this button symbolizes this strand of activism that was about black women taking ownership and saying, you know what, the work that we do in our own homes to care for our own families is real work. In the exhibit, we want to ask, how is women's work valued? And what would it look like to truly value women's work, both paid and unpaid? What we have in this gallery are so many examples of women's creativity. You know, they're not just creating beautiful objects or pieces of art or persuasive pieces of writing. They're creating entire new markets and taking advantage of them. They are finding amazingly creative ways to work with what they've been given, be it social strictures or legal restrictions, and finding ways to influence policy. And it's really clever. And I just think that we don't give the women of the past enough credit for what they've done. I think that's a big part of why we do this exhibit, is to be like, hey, women's work is something you need to pay attention to. It's something that we need to address, readdress again and again and again, because it's so important for all of us. What is women's work? Women's work is essential to American society. It defies categorization and it's inherently political. Women's work is everywhere.